Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're gonna look at good things coming to you. And to do this reading I have prepared three different piles with cards that will be three separate readings. What you do is you choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. As always we will also take one additional card together that you get to see faced upwards and hopefully that will help you to find that right reading for you today. So let's go for it. Good things coming to you. Oh, that looked like pile one. So good things coming to you. Okay, pile one, the key. Pile two, identity. And finally, pile three, seeing differently. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you will find the timestamps to the piles shared in the commentary section that will take you directly to the reading that you have chosen today. I will see you in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. Good things coming to you. And you felt drawn here to the key card here. So number 32, it says the key, also mystery, moving forward and knowledge. So let's just put that there for a few seconds and we're gonna put your tarot cards to the side. So we're gonna start with some more oracle cards, but you know what, let's just start with this card. I feel pile number one that with the key here, it seems that some kind of a key thing in your life that wasn't working is, is finally gonna, hmm solve for you you know with the mystery moving forward and knowledge it is like the last piece of one big puzzle that you've been trying to solve uh, maybe you've been trying to solve this for a time there was one one piece of the puzzle was missing so i feel like you're you're getting that last piece of that puzzle and with that completing something and moving forward in your life so there is a Three plus two is five. Five signifies positive change. So there's a big positive change coming with you completing something. And you're getting, it could be like a key piece of information, an insight, something that you missed, some energy releasing from your life, uh, creating a, a flow in your life and making all the pieces, like the last pieces, even feels like it's one for you. One, some of you, it's actually just one last piece of the puzzle that has been missing for it to be complete. Whatever this thing is for you. And the deer here is one of my favorite actually animals. It signifies sensitivity. It signifies peace. And... Um, harmony and balance actually so i feel with this there is like inner peace coming into your life and kind of really closing a chapter maybe even and moving forward uh, a mystery is going to be solved could be some yeah could be some mystery in your life being solved something that you could not move away from something that has been maybe with you for a long time something that was you were stuck maybe in something or you were trying to heal something or you were trying to 
move a situation forward in your life, but it wasn't moving forward. And you got all the pieces of the puzzle, but there was one last piece in this puzzle missing for it to finally kind of the energy releasing and you completely moving forward. So I feel that is coming to you. Uh, yeah, and I just feel so much peace with this card. Look at this. Like so much peace. And this looks like you even looking back at that and you're like, yeah, there it went. <laughs> or uh, saying goodbye maybe to something here. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at some more oracle cards. And funny enough, the first card is actually not an oracle card. It's a tarot card, but it looks like oracle card. So I decided to put it in this part of the reading. So you got Seek the Truth with uh, Seven of Swords. And I mean, look at this. Yeah, Seek the Truth. I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is so matching. So Seven of Swords is all about a tricky, tricky situation. Very tricky situation, actually. And, uh, you know, a lot of mind games maybe in this tricky situation. And look at you ripping apart the illusion, the energy here ripping apart the energy and stepping into the light so something is really coming to its end something that has been a, like a veil of heavy energy in your aura wheel of heavy energy in your life maybe surrounding something that you wanted for yourself surrounding a dream that you wanted uh, something that you wanted to reach so it was the energy was stuck here because of this heavy heaviness of this tricky energy uh and look yeah you're looking at this actually so you are about to reach a big breakthrough i mean really really big breakthrough and just find you know it's not going to be a breakthrough that is like a tower moment like all crazy you know with chaotic energies feels like there's just something is coming to you in a very calm, calm way. It feels like it's coming into your life in a very calm way. This last piece of the puzzle is not going to be a struggle. It's just like it's just going to fall into place. Finally, letting that wheel, wheel open up or the energy clear up. And you finally seeing the truth of maybe the situation. You finally getting insights. Maybe a clear direction about what to do or where to go. Uh, I just feel like whatever this was hanging over you, hanging over your life, maybe over a relationship, over something, it is going to be gone from your life. Uh, yeah, it's going to be completely gone from your life. And I feel that your energy is changing in this as well. So, you know, with the deer here, it's like you're becoming more sensitive, more in touch with your, with your intuition, your inner guidance. You're going to be... You're going to feel more like kind of complete and in control uh, and in control, like not in a fearful way, but kind of, you know, in this grounded way, grounded in your own emotions, grounded or centered kind of in your heart's wants, uh, aware of what you're thinking, aware of the energies around you, very clear about what you want and how to get there. And also, I think also there are some things that you're really letting go in the past now. And maybe there has been things that been, that you've been going back and forward with, t kind of trying to release it. And then it's like, no, not so easy to release it. So some things like that you have been doubting or that you have been having a hard time taking the decision about, you're going to take a final decision when it comes to this. And the decision that you're going to take is going to be in your favor, something that is the best for you. So you're going to take the right decisions for you. It's going to be very clear for you what kind of decisions that you need to take. Uh, so yeah, your mind is becoming crystal clear. It's like you all of a sudden you know what you need to do and you will do it without any fear, without any doubt. It's just something feels like something came into place inside of you. Something landed inside of you. Like you reached some kind of a grounded energy inside of you and very i don't know what you did but your energy feels very like pure and very honest and genuine so you really i think you got in you're getting in touch with yourself at a deeper level a very deep level and there in the, that deep level it's like you open up your psychic channels and all of a sudden you know it becomes the information comes to you very clear the intuition becomes very strong whatever 
insights that you need, you're going to just very quickly get them to you. Uh, yeah, and this is going to make you move forward. And really the mystery of your life, it feels like it's going to be solved. Like maybe it could be some big mystery, you know. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's continue here. And uh, we have clear the fog. Wow, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Clear the fog. <laughs> There's a rip here. I don't know if you see it. Yeah, it's a scratch here. And I, I thought maybe it's in the card. I think, no, it's not actually. Probably my cat or something. Uh, I think it's actually not in the picture, but kind of the card got a bit, yeah. Hmm. The rip. Hmm. Yeah, but clear the fog. Look at you. You don't see here. Like, hello. And they're like, hey, yeah, I can't even see who this is. So, yeah, you, you can't even see. Wow. So it could be people in your life that you weren't seeing before, you know, because of this. When we have a wheel of energy, you know, in our aura, or maybe somebody else had a lot of heavy energy in their life somehow, and they changed, and you changed. And then all of a sudden you can meet this person without this energy coming in between. So there's definitely something foggy, something heavy, something, I don't know, yeah, something foggy, something heavy, dissip dissipating, disappearing from you and maybe from somebody you love as well. Maybe you're like, you know, you couldn't even connect with your friend. Maybe you're connecting with a friend actually that uh, doesn't, that you haven't seen in a very long time. Could be that, that you're reconnecting with somebody that's very important for you. Uh, could also, yeah, seek the truth. Hmm. You are finding out, I don't know, maybe something happened between you uh, and it's it solves, like it could be, could be a love situation, could be a friendship situation, could be something with your boss, you know, some kind of conflict created maybe by somebody else or some energy and it kind of created some kind of disbalance so it's it's like who or somebody was oh I never remember how to say it if it's slander or slander slander your good name like somebody dragged your good name to the dirt in some way somebody was gossiping about you if something like that happened to you just somebody maybe gossiping about you that is gonna be that energy is gonna be cleared out and who you are is gonna come you know with the deer here I mean the deer is the most I mean, genuine creature. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, sensitive, highly sensitive, psychic creature. I mean, there's nothing unpure. So maybe somebody or something made you into something that you were not to somebody else. And now that is disappearing, that energy. So it could be that a truth comes out to the surface. Uh, somebody else's face is going to show and that is also kind of clearing your name. So your name is going to get cleared maybe. And with that also bridges that has been burned maybe because of this person is going to get mended. So this is one uh, scenario. It could be just, you know, somebody in your work group that has a bit uh, gossiping about you and, you know, people look a bit strange at you. And then it's just an energy. It could just be an energy, you know, around you. Just something that has... I know, I just feel like it's been tricky and it's kind of been holding you back. could even be the evil eye here, actually. It's been holding you back, you know, making everything go slow. And maybe you're going to find out where this energy came from. Either way, you know, this is going to be gone from your life. And it's not uncommon, you know, we're human beings, you know, we have an ego, people have, there's energies like this around us. I mean, so even if you're aware of this or not, Something is going to really disappear here from your life and you're, you are becoming, oh, it's like you, it's something around you disappears. I know this when I, I when I do retreats here in Sweden sometimes uh, and I have people coming to me and, you know, sometimes people come, you know, they, they, they come and there's, I see, can see, you know, they look a bit depressed and a bit sad. And even if they're happy to come to the retreat, there's something just with their energies heavy. They have a lot of <laughs> things in their aura, you know, entities and the, the, there's the etheric bonds with people they have conflicts with, you know, their parents and the heavy burden of having kids sometimes, you know, teenagers. So it could be really their whole energy is heavy, maybe not eating correctly. So, and not, especially 
not thinking, you know, having a lot of negativity in their mind, having a lot of negative fe feelings, you know, dealing with a lot of things. There is an energy around us when we are in this. And I see this clearly sometimes when I, when I have people coming to me. It's like this foggy grayish aura and i know people you um, now when i'm talking i know you know what i'm talking about who also is holding retreats and have clients and i think you have seen this with your clients and people coming to you like at first when they come it's a bit like dull like their energy is a bit dull and during kind of the retreat you know doing some cleansing things meditating just just being in a high vibration at the end of the retreat i love it you know i can see people's faces shining i mean you know shining and maybe you've seen this with yourself as well you know uh, just before you go to a retreat if you take a picture of yourself and then you look at yourself or you look at yourself in the mirror after a retreat or after a very strong healing or something you know when you're shiny and your eyes are just sparkly so this is kind of the energy that you're entering into so there is and maybe something maybe it's all these things that i said actually your diet is changing your mind is changing your feelings is changing you're cutting cords with these people that was taking energy from you so you look at you you're ripping you're ripping apart that heavy energy just poof, and stepping into that sparkly light you know with your eyes sparkly and uh, we got a bit of dust here that fly that was funny actually yeah the dust you're gonna clean out the dust from your life so i think pile number one uh, good things that are coming to you is like a whole complete transformation of you and you're feeling really really good feeling really good about it <clears throat> and maybe you've been working with this for a long time and that's kind of the process you know it's like changing our diet if that is needed, maybe, you know, it's a holistic view on, uh, spirituality should be a holistic view. I mean, it's, it's the mind, it's the body, it's the emotions, uh, it's the spiritual side. I mean, it's all of those things has to come together to create that really grounded, uh, being in us and when we are in that place like all the rest of the things comes together in our life what we are working with what kind of relationships we have love attracting true love into our life finding meaning finding passion reaching success and abundance and somehow here it feels like you've been doing all this and now what is the good thing that is coming to you now is kind of like the final key of the puzzle to solve this whole mystery because like i said it's holistic so the physical body is connected to the mind. The mind is connected to the emotions. The emotions are connected to the physical body. Everything is one thing, you know. What we think, we also feel, also creates a physical sensation in the body, also creates energy in the body. So it's all connected, you know. And uh, so it's like the key of this, uh, this the last key here coming and binding is kind of like you're finally finding, ooh, you're finally kind of really finding yourself spiritually, emotionally, mentally, uh, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. Yeah, you're really finding yourself. And with that, becoming very grounded. And I feel like really becoming yourself and clear the fog is really like seeing yourself clearly kind of for the first time, looking at yourself it's like, wow, this is me. And people are going to see you clearly. And that's why also if there has been somebody trying to slander, slander your good name or gossip about you, or if there's something in the past, you know, that's been kind of... Um, some energy, you know, from the past maybe, that is going to be very clear that you are... You are not the bad person in that drama. So the truth is going to come out here. And people are going to see you very clearly. Very, very clearly. I mean, you are like the deer. I mean, you are the deer. <laughs> wow, that was just three cards. <coughs> it was just, it just came, you know, here. So let's continue. Uh, let me see if I can fix the camera a bit like, oh yeah, like that. And we have Pat Unknown with Eight of Scrolls. So this is actually also a tarot card, but it has its own system. And uh, anyway, so Pat Unknown, uh, Scrolls is about knowledge. And you know, Pat Unknown is like, you are not just solving an old mystery. You are opening up a new path for yourself. And it's like, 
Yeah, you're standing there and there's so many paths that you... I actually see one path shone, shine. It feels like the sun is shining more bright from one place. So many paths are opening up for you, pile number one. But there's going to be one shining stronger than the rest. And it feels like that is the one that you're going to follow. So I said this in another reading that you're getting a call. Uh, and if you maybe you heard that in that reading as well, I think it was... Uh, a secret revealed from your guides could be that reading so if you feel called to watch that you can do that as well but anyways so it's like oh it's yeah it's like you're stepping into a whole new life and with that I really feel like you're completing something com completely completing something you know and letting that go and there is just like you standing there and thinking like okay what where do I go now and I think very quickly, there's going to be a calling coming to you. It, it might in the beginning, it might come a bit soft, you know. And it, it could be that you're waiting uh, to see if this... Because, you know, we should always give it some time when we get a nudge or a feeling. Just give it some time. One week, two, three weeks, three weeks. If it stays... Uh, for a couple of weeks then we know that's the path that we should follow so I feel like first it's gonna come like whispers to you like nudges like yeah you should do this maybe this is right or something just starts something starts stirring inside of yourself and then it's gonna be stronger and stronger in the end it's, it's gonna be like a sun warming your face and I don't think there's nothing in the world that can stop you from walking on that path so there's a calling that you're gonna get towards something totally unknown something that you have not done before something that you have not done before at all and eight of scrolls you know knowledge so maybe you're you're learning some things on this path as well but it's gonna be an adventure it's gonna be fun it's gonna be very 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 fulfilling at a soul level i feel here so this is something uh, yeah, this is something that's really going to fulfill you at a soul level. You're going to grow so, so much on this path, I feel here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. So we have, uh, yeah, Mercury in Aquarius in the 11th house. And, you know, 11th house is all about community. It's about uh, friendship. I think it's about luck as well, actually. And maybe even hopes, hope and dreams. So origin, originality, originality. And, you know, the Aquarius is also, you know, the most unique sign. The, the Aquarius always does things in its original, rebellious, wild way. Wow. Okay. So this is so funny. So yesterday, I, I, I we, we have one of these cards. So, but yesterday, I, 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 when, I sh when I prepared this reading, this card fell out. And I kind of left it here because I really liked the message. And now I just felt like, yeah, this was for you. So let's just take this. So it says, the ocean, be beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. Pile number one, you are stepping into that new future where you're going to find how beautiful you are how mysterious you are, how wild you are, and how free you are. This is what this path is going to lead you. And like how vast or vast, 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 oh, I always say that wrong as well, vast or vast <laughs> um, your energy is, or you know, the ocean, you are vast like the ocean. So it's like you, the ocean is in front of you. So, whew you're gonna be experiencing a new way of living your life a very expansive 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 yeah expansive way of living your life in a very very new way you're you're gonna feel beautiful the mysterious energies in you is coming out you're gonna feel wild and free you're gonna feel like the aquarius age is really here for you and you're gonna make friends on this path you're gonna maybe do some really yeah maybe you're doing a big project or big thing here that's helping the community or something maybe you're inventing something you know the uh, capricorn energy is all about oh yeah capricorn i mean the mercurius energy here is all about communication so and communication is also about meetings and it's also about travels actually so you're yeah traveling could definitely be that your call is making you travel somewhere or the traveling is also kind of a symbol for 
going on a new adventure to create something that you have felt you feel calling to create this to do this to start this endeavor or this project this mission there's going to be something very original what you're doing you've never done anything like this before never you weren't maybe even prepared to get this message before or something but this is going to be for you you're going to know it it's going to start like i said like whispers and then it's going to come in like a big warm sun and it's like just going to warm your face and it's going to warm your heart and your body it's just going to feel so right and you're you're just going to get you're just going to go there you're just going to do that and it's just going to be beautiful for you and optimism wow <laughs> so it says after each rainstorm there will be clear skies yeah so you've been going through maybe the rain here uh with all these things, seek the truth, seven of swords, you know, it's kind of been maybe heavy on you, clear the fog, yeah, but now the rain, this, the rain is going to end, the fog is going to disappear, and there will be clear skies and optimism coming into your life, mm. so yeah, what a <laughs> I love this reading, so we're going to do your tarot cards, okay, and you have the Empress. I mean, wow. <laughs> and that's the energy that I actually felt when I was describing, you know, this holistic way of all the parts coming together, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual. I mean, that is the Empress. Very grounded, very grounded, mature, strong, spiritual, physical, emotional, mental, balanced energy. I mean, the Empress. Whoo! Pile number one, you are stepping into that Empress energy. And we have the devil. Yeah, you are you are overcoming the devil. You are overcoming the devil. And the devil, yeah, it sounds like a bit scary. But the devil symbolizes uh, bad habits, uh, negative thought patterns, um, karmic relationships, karmic heavy stuff that we've been stuck with. Um, addictions, just, you know, chains, being stuck in something, you know, chains here. Yeah, look at this, look at this beautiful bird here, it can't go away here because it's stuck here. So, yeah, that is coming to its end. And maybe that was, you know, the mystery here. Toxic people, toxic energy. So, karmic situations. You're over, you're, this is like, like I said, there's something here that's the final piece of the puzzle is coming, ending this for forever for you. And you have the wheel, wow. You have three major arcana, so pile number one, what is coming, what, 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 what's, what, I don't even remember the, the theme of the reading. Good things coming to you, so yeah, the good things coming to you, you have three major arcana in a row. I mean, and the major arcana symbolizes strong energy, strong force in our life, uh, creating change, positive change in our lives. And you have, I mean, the, the empress, the devil, and, and the wheel. So it's like, and I say this many times, the wheel is turning. So you had to face maybe this toxic energy or this was in your life. And now it's kind of like done with that. So yeah, that karmic wheel, that karmic cycle, came is coming to its end with this last piece of the puzzle falling into place here and the high priestess wow so yeah not just empress but also the high priestess hmm. and the ace of cups Whew. oh my god <laughs> wow i mean pile number one wow yeah i can only say why so, wow so you had four major arcanas and i mean the ace of cups beautiful beautiful wrapping up your reading here really showing you know for some of you maybe this is enlightenment card you know getting enlightened or really a new start a new 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 start and i think actually the ace of cups is the is is yeah if, if one of the cards would show us enlightenment i would say ace of cups would be the enlightenment card so if somebody's striving for enlightenment that could happen here you know <laughs> uh really or really like a part of you really gets enlightened and higher you, your consciousness reaches a very very a much higher level here uh anyways 
I mean, the High Priestess and the Empress also shows us that yin, yin energy, the Divine Feminine energy, yin energy is about that receptive, open, safe, trusting energy. So yeah, this is really the deer. I mean, the deer spirit, I don't know if you worked with the deer or if you have a deer as a spirit animal, but I would recommend you to maybe get in touch with that deer energy. You have that inside of you, that sensitivity. It's kind of coming and growing inside of you. Um, and the deer, and I also see, you know, like this big, oh, I don't know, red deer. Is it called a red deer? You know, the ones that are a bit bigger. Uh, I, you know what I see now, actually? Have you seen uh, Princess Mononoke by Hayao Miyazaki? Is that his name? I always say it wrong, maybe. Uh, you know, the uh, super famous anime uh, producer. Uh, yeah, anyways, Princess Mononoke, there is a beautiful, beautiful spiritual deer there. I just see you as this, wow. I almost want to show you a picture. I wonder if you can see it if I show it here. You know what? We're going to try. <laughs> Because this is how I see you. Uh, oh, no, no, okay. Uh, dear. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you can see it. So, yeah, this is one picture here. And it's kind of, you know, just look at this. The spiritual, I would really recommend you to watch that movie actually, you will feel very connected because the spiritual deer is very connected to kind of holding the balance of the environment. So this is really this empress energy here. So the path unknown here that you're going, wouldn't surprise me if you're going to the jungle or to the forest. For some of you, I've heard this shamanic calling a couple of times now doing the readings in the the past readings here also I have a very strong connection to the shamanic path anyways uh, so or doing something for Gaia doing something for Mother Earth doing something for the environment could be some, for some of you that is the path here the ocean maybe doing something for the ocean uh, but you are getting very, 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 very spiritually connected very spiritual connected with the Empress and the High Priestess very spiritual connected and the devil here can also symbolize that you are in your mission here in the future is to somehow clear out the fog for other people get this devilish collective dark energy of how we are polluting the planet how we are polluting ourselves you know kind of with negative thoughts and greed and wants so for some of you it's something like that for some of you it's something more kind of personal that this path is going to take you on uh, so however it is for you, it is a beautiful journey that you are about to embark on. Uh, yeah, you're going to find so much fulfillment, so much joy, so much happy happiness. It's all going to be worth it. The whole journey until here, it's gonna all going to be worth it. And I just feel like you're going to be gone. Maybe you're leaving people behind you when you're going on this trip or... Feels like you're gonna be, feels really feel some of you, you're gonna be in another part of the world for a while, or you're like, you're not gonna be as accessible, I think, to your friends and family maybe that you had, because you're gonna be kind of consumed in creating and doing a new thing. And it's gonna be so much fun for you. This is gonna be something that you're gonna feel is divinely guided, protected. And it's just like, I just see, stars and sparkles and shine and white golden shimmering light everywhere around you and around this project or mission or this thing that you're meant to experience and do so it's just like you're going to be doing that and it's just going to be such a wonderful part of your journey pile number one yeah and it's going to make everything else worth it you really <laughs> everything that you had to do to come here is going to be worth it okay pile number did i say two before no i don't know pile number one this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye pile one hello pile two and welcome to your reading good things coming to you and you felt drawn here to the identity card it also says recognition, self-awareness, and examine. We have a black rabbit here. I thought that was interesting. Not so common with a black rabbit. Hmm. 
Okay, let's put your tarot cards to the side first. And we're gonna do some more oracle cards, I think. I was just thinking, you know, with the color red here. So red, and she's wearing red. And the rabbit also made me think of the earth star chakra, kind of, you know, deep in the ground of Gaia. The, the, the soil is dark, the soil is almost black, you know. So I wonder, and the rabbit is for fertility, something growing. So I was just getting this feeling, I think something is about to materialize in your reality. Something that, you know, with the identity, something that you've been wanting, I think, for a very long time. And you've been waiting for for a very long time to happen for you that wasn't happening for you is about to materialize uh yeah hmm let's yeah recognition like you're kind of getting that recognition you're like you're gonna get what you want is what i hear you're you're gonna get what you want and maybe that felt like it was far away from you because look at this she's looking at the she has a little like uh um, 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 what is it called? Amulet? No, that's not the name in English. So, uh, yeah, she has a little thing here with pictures on it. She's looking at it longingly. So kind of looking at maybe pictures of the past. And she's wearing a mask. So it makes me feel like maybe being a bit lost from longing for something and at the same time feeling a bit lost where you are. And now it feels like you are getting you're getting what you are waiting for pile number two it's coming to fruition it's coming to life it's coming to you hmm let's continue here and it's funny because the first <laughs> oracle card is actually a tarot card but I, I chose to put it here because i thought it was it looks like an oracle card so we have a uh, listen here and this is the high priestess high priestess hmm and look, I like the energy here. So here you look a bit sad, longing, and here is like, yay, I got what I want. <laughs> so pile number two, you are about to get what you wanted. I don't know what that was, but you were about to get it. I think it was something in the physical world, something you wanted to create in the physical world. Maybe something with your relationship, maybe something with your job, your home, finances, something like that is coming to you. And you're gonna feel like, look at you, like, tee like very, very happy that you got it. You're like, yay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Listen, let's continue here. I think we're gonna get some more messages from these cards. Let go and flow. Yeah, you know what? Pile number two, life is gonna become easy for you. Look at you celebrating. You are, what good things coming to you, you're about to celebrate. Miracle, a miracle is about to happen in your life. A dream or a wish is about to come true. Something that you've been longing and wanting for a very long time that you couldn't see happen for you because of the circumstances of life. And it is coming. It is coming. And you have Sangha, uh, which means community. Uh, eight of Roses. So this is actually also a tarot deck, but it has its own system. So I, I kind of like using it as an oracle deck as well. So Eight of Roses, Roses is all about relationships, yeah, and community. <sighs> maybe, oh yeah, so it feels like you've been alone maybe for a while or dealing with something alone. So there has, there are some feelings of sadness here and you know, maybe depression and maybe just some hardships of life or just maybe maybe just being very focused on creating and manifesting what you want so you kind of been busy with that maybe but it just overall feels you know a bit sad this this card really makes me feel like you're you were a bit sad in the, the blind or the mask in the eye like a bit lost a bit lost in life but still kind of longing for something holding your abundance you know and you know it's not even a white rabbit it's a black rabbit you kind of been in that emo state a bit emo life has been a bit depressive a bit emo maybe or just like a bit slow moving or a bit boring maybe it doesn't have to be those intense emotions so that is about to change you're about to get what you want something something is miraculously going to manifest into your life that you've been wanting and you're also gonna you're gonna feel very happy. You're gonna start to feel a flow in your life, happiness in your life, things going good in your life, reconnected, 
you're gonna reconnect with that free spirit of yours and your heart is about to beat faster. Some, some of you might even fall in love here, but your heart is about to beat faster. It feels like it's been a bit dull, or life has been a bit dull, a bit, you know, maybe mundane, maybe like routines, maybe, you know, not so much fun things happening or not so many things going your way, maybe struggling financially, work-wise, you know, with your kids or what's going on here. So that is, and you know, the High Priestess also shows that you getting in touch with yourself here and Sangha community, people are coming into your life that's going to give you a lot of love, <laughs> I feel here. So for some of you, yeah, you're going to fall in love or you're reconnecting or you're rekindling a love or you are meeting your friends again and you're having a good time there's warmth coming into your home so warmth coming into your heart warmth warm energy coming into your uh life and your home and i see like you know look at this they're eating dinner and look at this home it looks so cozy here you see that uh it looks like it's on the countryside the sun is coming in it's like they have a sun rose here symbolizing joy and you know eating together uh, and there's a Buddha here also, you know, so there's peace and harmony, peace and harmony coming into your relationships. Yeah, peace and harmony coming into your relationships. Uh, mm, peace and love coming into, yeah. And you have criticism. Yeah, look at that. So we have the Virgo in March in the sixth house with criticism and somebody pointing look at that pointing at your throat chakra so uh yeah maybe you have a sore throat or coughing or something with your lungs and you're breathing but yeah criticism so overcoming criticism overcoming toxic people um, and, and you know maybe even getting rid of relationships that was judging you in some way criticizing you judging you maybe even bullying you or pointing at you marsh you know aggressive energy and virgo is like yeah. also you know if a virgo like the, the shadow all everything has a shadow side you know virgo energy is a beautiful energy if it's balanced of course everything is beautiful when it's balanced but it also has a shadow side so virgo energy at the shadow side can be very criticizing yeah very controlling very criticizing so maybe you had a criticizing controlling person in your life that you're getting rid of that made you into something that you were not with the identity here they made you believe something about yourself that was not true and now you are listening to your own intuition and realizing that your own worth and who you are and either healing this if this is a person from the past because she's looking at the pictures here uh, and this medallion yeah medallion maybe might be the right name could that be like a medallion yeah she's looking at the pictures so it could be somebody from your past you re that hurt you now you're releasing those that criticize that controlling criticizing um, things that this person said to you and that you kind of adopted to become part of who you were so or it could be somebody that you have in your life now that is kind of criticizing, controlling, aggressive, uh, putting you down in some way, making you hide yourself here with a mask, uh, making you become emo and depressed a bit. So that person is going to get out of your life. I mean, let go and flow. Yeah, that person is going to get out of your life with this wound or this emotional wound is going to heal. And with that, happiness comes in. You're connecting with yourself. You're loving yourself. You're connecting with good people happiness and fun and dinners and uh, yeah enjoying life and breathe hmm. so break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise seas wow so you have been beneath the water surface this yeah far deep down in the mud maybe even you know and now you're about to soar up beyond the turquoise sea. I mean, how beautiful is that? So breathe. Maybe there has been something with your breathing or your, your like I said, your lungs. And you know, the lungs and the breathing is all about the solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra here we also have is the yellow. We have a lot of yellow here. It's all about power. It's all about confidence. It's all about not letting anybody step on us, criticizing us, controlling us and telling us who we are and making 
val evaluating us and deciding our self-worth. So maybe there was some things like this in the past or there's there are emotional wounds connected to this and you're healing that now, you're letting go of that now. Or there is somebody like this in your life now, you're like kind of kicking that person out. I just want to go like this and just like kick that person out of your life. So it's like, and all of a sudden you're breathing, you're freeing yourself from something, pile number two. That's what I'm feeling. That's the big good thing coming here. You freeing yourself from something. And look, I mean, it's like that inner child of you becomes happy again. So for some of you, this is kind of happened when you were a child. Could you be your mother, your father or somebody else? Uh, but look at you freeing yourself. Ooh, you're like the inner child in you is about to awaken. And with that, it's like a lot of so much good things. And I think, you know, Sangha and community, connecting with other people is going to be very important for you. Connecting with people that are nice to you, not criticizing you, not controlling you, loving you unconditionally. So unconditional love in connection with other people that are going to come into your life. Yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's look at your tarot cards here. I think, I think, I think I'm going to take a cup of my tea here. Mm. Actually, I'm drinking licorice root and fennel seed tea today and I think it's it's very actually I think it's very good for the solar plexus digestion and also for the upper respiratory oh my god so the lungs so maybe some of you this is gonna do you good so licorice root and fennel tea is actually pretty cheap to buy you know you buy the herbs in a bag you know it's very cheap not buying you know sometimes buying tea bags it can be so expensive so it gives you a lot of tea and it's very very good especially if you like licorice taste it's a bit naturally sweet also so anyways we're gonna do your tarot cards here and the fool yeah look at you wow pile number two. Oh, you are about to free yourself i feel like i want to cry and hug you and say yeah you know what you are you oh, I, i'm happy for you you deserve to be free you deserve to be in that joyous place connected with your inner child and just experience loving people around you being recognized, being being treated well by the people around you, uh, getting things flowing in your way, flowing for you. Maybe you know. Maybe you were. You maybe you're not used to taking space. I've just got there. Some some of you might be a bit shy or not used to take place in your life because uh, maybe that wasn't loud when you were a kid, or maybe there's just maybe there's a boss or something that's criticizing you. You're not allowed to take place in that group or. There's somebody in your school or there's like a group of people and there's somebody just like criticizing you and want, doesn't want you to take place. Maybe you're also prone to be a bit submissive. So it feels here like you are kind of like learning how to take more place, space. And I feel like that is going to be very healing for you to take space, to not be scared to be seen to be heard, to be listened to, because, and I think you're going to realize on this path that what you have to say, people are interested in what you have to say and what you have to share. People are loving you and are interested in who you are. So you have something good to give. So, uh, and I feel that is going to be very healing for you to finally take and maybe, you know, even when you grew up in school, you were bullied and things. So maybe there's something really that has to heal that with just taking more space, taking more space in your life, doing things that are good for you, not being maybe a people pleaser, not letting the, the one with the stronger voice uh, take all space in the group or in the family or kind of in the thing that you're doing or in your life. So it could even be really like you're, could be a friend here that you have to let go of that it's kind of doesn't want you they kind of like you that the way you are because that means that they can call you and you know throw all their shit on you and you just listens and you're, you're kind you're always there you're always reliable and when you want to talk there's not much so much listening to you because they're more interested in themselves <laughs> so this is gonna be for some of you if you really recognize this person could be like that you need to cut this person off or put health, more healthy boundaries could be. I don't know who I'm feeling here, but I'm definitely feeling this energy. So that you need to... You're finding more strength, you know? 
and you're finding people that like you for who you are and that are deeply interested in who you are then that that want to see your sh they want to see your shine they want to see you grow so there's definitely people in your life or in your past that didn't want to see you shine they didn't want to see you grow and that is kind of clearing out and what is coming in is the, the other side of this people that want to see you grow people that want to see you shine people that are cheering on you that are loving you that you are healing together with so yeah this coming in your sangha your community your real family for some of you and you might be longing for this real family so one of the advices that i'm getting here is you have to step out of your shell and find the courage to go out into the world but we have the fool here signifying a really new start a new start is coming in whole new energy is coming into your life and i mean you are you're such a beautiful person on the inside and outside you have so much good to share here the world deserve to uh, the world is going to be honored to be able to get a piece of that beautiful energy that you're keeping for yourself so don't keep it all to yourself you know people there are people that are really going to honor and love what you have to say and share you know they're gonna when you talk they're just gonna sit and listen to you and it's just gonna be like wow and you're gonna be seen and recognized for the first time and this is like so healing for you so maybe there is also letting this go also opens you up for for receiving different type of relationships into your life so this is kind of a shift happening here on the relationship area i feel here like your connection with other people and your connection with yourself your connection with yourself also gets more self-love you're becoming more open more free more happy more like the inner child playing you know carelessly playing more more uh you know easygoing so yeah, burdens, heavy burdens maybe of this just energies are releasing from you, pile number two. And we have six of swords. Yeah, you're leaving that. So six of swords, yeah, showing you're leaving that. Um, and also going into calmer waters. Uh, and I feel like calm inside of yourself. There's going to be peace inside of your mind. Less negative talk less negative self-talk that damn negative self-talk you know that you have maybe adopted like i said if we we get criticized and controlled by our parents and people around us you know from growing up those thoughts becomes a part of our identity they jump around in our head and make makes us yeah but i'm like this and i'm like this and we believe them because we kept hearing them when we were a kid you're so uh, you're so this and you're so that and you can't do this and you're so bad at this and you do 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 and this and this and then it becomes kind of a reality so it's like there's gonna be less negative self-talk there's a big breakthrough coming into your mind and your heart you're freeing yourself from this and I want to give you a big hug because I feel at times you've been very lonely and very disconnected from other people because of this emotional wound maybe hmm yeah you deserve love pile number two and we have the hierophant here wow i just heard forgiveness uh, you're gonna find compassion and forgiveness inside of yourself along this path and that is gonna set you free really set you free yeah really set you free hmm. so you're spiritually awakening on a oh, you are spiritually awakening you are very strongly actually and in a very good way and we have the page of wands wow yeah new inspiration new passion new new adventure new fire igniting inside of you so like i said was it we talked about the mundane a little bit boring life being a bit shy being a bit boxed in so there's a new fire coming inside of you new passion for life new courage to go out there and grab life you know and uh, some people are not going to like this growth and it's going to be very clear for you then <laughs> you're going to outgrow people and that is going to be good because some it's just like that you know to go on with our life we are outgrowing things we are releasing things it's just the way it goes so it's not going to be difficult for you to do to let go of certain people i feel it's just going to kind of naturally happen yeah it's just going to naturally happen here i feel and the magician wow <laughs> i mean Wow, you went from, you know, being in that box and shy to like really, whoo, uh, strong, very strong in yourself. 
I mean, the magician, the master manifester. So yeah, that, let's go back to what we said here in the beginning. I said that you were about to manifest a dream, a dream come true into reality. The magician, the magician is all about manifesting our dream into reality. So maybe this is your dream to m find your true love, to find your true soulmate, soul family, to find your sangha, your community, where you belong, where you feel that you belong, your second family that kind of could be even your real family, the, the place where you feel that you, you get everything that you didn't get from your childhood and you finally heal, you grow, you find... Uh, yeah, we got both the high priestess and the magician here. Yeah, you found this is a very spiritual pile actually. So you you are you are getting connected also with your spiritual gifts or you know just your talents. It doesn't even have to be spiritual talents, gifts, abilities. So maybe you're taking up something that you were not. Oh, Maybe you wanted to paint or to dance or to sing. You felt very drawn to something. Because of a past life, you have you have a very strong connection to th things in the past life. And there is a calling inside of you wanting to try to do that again. But you're not maybe, you don't feel that you're good at it. You're judging yourself. So you're going to take up some things that you've been wanting to do, but you've been scared to do. And you're going to realize like how much joy this thing is going to give you and how fast you're going to be good at what you're doing and people seeing, recognizing what you're doing. So self-awareness, you're going to be become more self-aware of who you are from a positive perspective. So before there was negative eyes on you and fingers pointing on you. And that was kind of maybe something that you needed to go through because maybe it was in your soul's lesson to learn self-worth, to learn confidence and courage. I'm still sorry that that happened for you. It never feels right when somebody treats us bad. So, uh, but, and now you're stepping into a new phase of your life where people are not going to do that anymore. It's going to be the new people coming into your life is going to be the other thing. They're going to be like, wow, you're so good at what you're doing. Oh, you are so this and this. And they're going to listen to you. You're going to be recognized. And there's a lot of healing coming into this, I feel. Because of the past wounds connected to this. So yeah, good things is coming into your life. Very, very good things is coming into your life. You're coming up from the depths of the water. You are soaring up beyond the turquoise sea. <laughs> And the fire and passion is igniting in you. And I mean, you are about to really, it's kind of you're, you're creating a new life for yourself or you belong. And I think you're really letting go of, I think maybe even family members and things are really letting go of people. And uh, it's going to be good for you, pile number two. Okay, pile two. I think we hit the end of your reading. So if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, I wish you all the best and I still want to give you a big hug. I feel that I feel a bit of that sadness in your heart chakra. So my heart chakra uh, sees you, sees your heart chakra and gives it a hug. My inner child sees your inner, inner child and gives it a hug. So all the best to you, part number two, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile three, and uh, welcome to your reading. Good things coming to you. And uh, you felt drawn here to the seeing differently card here. It says uniqueness, roles, and variation. Hmm. Okay, let's put that card here, and we're gonna. Put your tarot cards to the side for a while and we're gonna start with some more oracle cards and actually like I said in the other pies the first card here is actually a tarot card but it looks like an oracle card so I decided to put it here in this reading or in this part of the reading so you have death here with release wow that looks like a relief <laughs> a release that looks like a relief so pile number three a big relief is coming into your life look at this you're just like kind of taking off your old clothes here <laughs> and it's like oh <gasps> you see that freedom <sighs> wow that was a very strong card seeing differently hmm death death 
Mm. I just heard like so this is kind of a random message, but like some of you you're re redoing your wardrobe, you know, with him taking off the old clothes, uh, and then you know the girl with the eyes here uh, as flowers. So for some of you you're doing uh, kind of a physical upgrade, uh, redoing your wardrobe and redoing maybe your hair, maybe changing your style a bit, trying some new things. And uh, yeah, be uniqueness, yeah, variation. Yeah, ver there's a variation coming into your wardrobe and the way you dress. So you might be, you might get in touch with a new side of yourself and you want to experiment a bit more kind of with what you're wearing. Maybe you're getting in touch with your feminine energy or your masculine energy or just your self-expression in some way. So it could be that this uh, makes you want to kind of change yourself a bit in a good way. Change is always good. Actually, all change is good. Death, it's death. <laughs> the death is coming to your old wardrobe and that old hairstyle of yours. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, one message here. But uh, let's see here what's going on. <laughs> uh, we have look forward. So you know what, pile number three, what I'm feeling here? Because uh, I was like, yeah, we should go a bit deeper, I th thought. You know, wardrobe, that is a bit shallow, superficial. But no, they're saying that's the whole good thing that is coming to you. The good thing that is coming to you is your life is not going to be so difficult anymore. And, you know, even if you're walking here, look at this narrow path that you're walking on. Maybe you, if you're scared of heights, this could be a bit scary. So this is kind of looks like a bit tricky. You know, I, didn't, I wouldn't want to walk here. So, but look forward... I feel pile number three re very strongly that your life is becoming simplified, like really simplified. And maybe your biggest like kind of problem or thing kind of in your mind is what am I going to wear when I go to the party or to that gathering? What am I going to like? I need new clothes. I don't have enough clothes. It's like my hair. Do I need to do my do I Do I need a new haircut? Is my hair like you're kind of outgrowing yourself. Wow, we're getting the message here. Yeah, because look at this. This person is doing taking off his own outfit here. So you're outgrowing yourself. It's like you change inside of yourself so much you 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 released things you change inside of yourself and all of a sudden you know the clothes that you're wearing is not you're not vibrating they are they just look like could even be clothes that you really like you look at it and you're like i can't wear this anymore this is not who i am anymore so it can even be in your home in your apartment you need you're starting to look at your furnitures and you, you know you're you're like ooh i need to like do a big cleaning here and i need to like maybe change out some throw out some furnitures like this this couch doesn't feel good anymore you know this painting cannot be here anymore so yeah there's a inner thing there was an inner shift happening in you now out uh, oh kind of you're outgrowing yourself <laughs> and uh, with that changing a lot of things in your life, I think. And it's not going to be so difficult. It feels... Look forward. If it's like this is ending, the narrow path. The narrow path is coming to an end. You've been on an adventure here. Maybe some of you is backpacking or backpacked or something like that. But it felt maybe like a... Maybe you didn't have a home. You had everything that you owned in a bag here or something, you know. And, you know, backpacking. I did that for a couple of years when I was younger. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, everything becomes moist in that bag. You know, everything is, becomes a mess. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you, yeah, so... Hmm. It's like you've been on a long journey, like a backpacker journey, you know, and, and it has been fun. Some places was not fun. Some places was a lot of fun. Uh, so you've been on a journey that's kind of symbolizes the journey you've been on. And it feels like you change, you know, when we go on a journey like that. That's why many youth people feel drawn to backpack, travel the world, you know, see things. It have, a lot of things happens with us when we do that. We expand our energy. We learn so much about ourselves. We go through challenges, you know, having to be able to um, uh, handle ourselves in a different country. So, and, and, you know, different. some countries can be really like, yeah, uh, yeah, India, I love India. I have a lot of Indian viewers. I have a strong love for India since I was little. I, I watched Bollywood movies with my dad. I have a very strong connection and like from past lives to India. I've been to India, I think, three or four times. 
but India, I mean, if you're not prepared for India, I mean, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get a heart attack. India is crazy. I mean, it's like I say, like India is like you take like you know the the snow, you know the snowballs or what is it called? You know the gla glass thing, and you shake it, and then snow is going everywhere in the in that globe. That's kind of India, but not snow. It's gonna be hot, <laughs> hot as hell actually. So, but I love India. So, and 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 countries like that can be really challenging. So. So this kind of symbolizes that you've been through a crazy journey, pile number three, I feel, you know? Maybe your whole life has been a crazy journey. Parts of it was wonderful, you know? Parts of it was not wonderful at all. And But what happened here is that you growed, and you growed so much, and maybe even lately you really, really, really growed uh, so, 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 so much. And that now you are becoming a new person. So it could be something something else happened that you, you were kind of on a spiritual journey or an awakening journey or just you did something or you maybe you finished college, you know, and that was a journey. Uh, you finished something. So something came to an end here in Empire Number 3 and that made your whole energy change. So it's kind of like uh, your life is becoming calmer, easier, but things you're starting to change things out in your outside world. Like I said, uh, your appearance, your the way you decorate your home. And uh, yeah, I feel calmer at times. For some of you, you might actually be drawn to traveling now when I talked about it so much. But let's continue here, see how this reading develops. We have the Ark of the Covenant. Hmm. The Ark of the Covenant and 11 here. You know what? I have to Google the Ark of the Covenant. Oh yeah, maybe I have it here. In this, yeah, I have the book here actually. Uh, no, is that the book? Yeah, this is the book. <laughs> Let's just see. Oh, hmm. It signifies success. Uh, I think the Ark of the Covenant it doesn't have to do something with like kind of spiritual knowledge or something. Let me Google that actually. The Ark of the Covenant. Uh... <clears throat> The Ark of the Covenant is a gold-plated wooden chest that in Jewish and Christian tradition houses the two tablets bearing the Ten Commandments that were given to Moses by God. So given, yeah, the Ten, the Ark of the Covenant. Hmm. So you're, and in the book it says kind of like you're getting like a contract or something. So for, for and the Ten Commandments, you know, the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses was kind of, you know, the rules about how to live life in a wholesome way. So I feel here that your life is becoming <laughs> wholesome or... Hmm, your life is changing in a very good way. It's kind of like... You know when Moses got those Ten Commandments from God, as it says in the Bible, um... Uh, it kind of gave Moses and the followers a set of rules and principles on how to uh, live their life in the most wholesome way. So it feels here that you have you have some force in your life, I think, pile number three, that is keeping you on a very protected path if you look at this picture here you know you're walking here on a very narrow path but it's very protected i mean you look very calm actually here walking uh even if the you know the path is so narrow here you look very calm so i think i just i just felt like this is kind of you're being divinely protected and it's like you're entering, I think, pile number three, you're entering a phase of your life where everything goes your way, like God is on your side. And if you don't like the concept God, 
uh, I don't see God as a man sitting in heaven. I kind of see God more as an energy, a source. But whatever you call God, there's just concepts, you know. So whatever suits you best, use that. And uh, don't think about what I'm saying. So, but like a higher source energies, like whatever you believe in is on your side. So maybe there's even deities or gods, you know, like in Hinduism, that is kind of looking out for you really really looking out for you now and you know the ark of the covenant is like god gave moses this you know uh so maybe you're getting something maybe you're getting something very very spiritual we have a number 11 here so yeah maybe you're getting something very very spiritual or you're getting something that you really want so we were talking about clothes and we were talking about how so maybe you're getting a house maybe you're getting finances you're getting something good here kind of so it feels like it's coming from the universe and it feels like you know it's it's something you know the ark of the covenant something big i mean <laughs> we went from something really like mundane or something like clothes and appearance to like the ark of the covenant you know god gave most moses the ten commandments wow it was like it was a big shift here in the energy so yeah maybe there's a big shift coming into your life but I, I still feel it's like you're so it's like a divine energy here it's like calm protected nothing to worry about like really you have nothing to worry about is what I feel here let's just continue so we have wow Saturn in uh, Gemini uh, with concentration also the third house here so Saturn karma you know the planet of karma hmm maybe you're being freed from some karma release here maybe and look at this if we look at it i think it's a little devil here on the lips do you see that the green devilish figure here and there's a lot of swords kind of on the lips here so yeah so maybe by the help of god god's deities higher force by the help of divine grace you're getting something or you're you're getting something you're getting help to clear out karma or you're getting very divinely you're getting very divine guidance you know like the principles the rules like the ten commandments very very um direct guidance on how to overcome this concentration uh yeah concentration how to overcome that's actually how it makes me feel seeing differently and oh, making getting you out of the situation you know i feel like it's easier but maybe it's not maybe it's something that you've been going through that is a bit tricky i mean the narrow path is still narrow here you don't have so much choices here so you might think you don't have so much choices seeing differently you're getting i mean they are helping you now if you are worshiping some deity i was talking about india so maybe i know i have a lot of indian viewers here so and also for the rest of you uh if you whoever you feel very close to ascended master spiritual guide angel it seems like they are very they are very very close to you uh, very close to you. i mean god gave how did he give them he gave them to her so the energy came down you know uh, at, in this ark of the covenant you know this wood plated chest in gold or whatever i read <laughs> so they're very close to you now and they're they're I, that's why i feel that it's going to be so easy for you because it's kind of like they're lifting you you know Ooh. helping you see this differently helping you release the devil on your lips here <laughs> so strange that it's on your lips could it be that you have a hard time communicating something third house third house is all about communications hmm communications about short this short travel short distance travel it's about electric electric devices and things but yeah communication um hmm. hard time communicating hard time saying the truth uh or secrets maybe hard time freeing yourself you know the mouth is closed it also feels like hard time freeing yourself from something there's a big release coming here i mean you're gonna be freed from this you know you're gonna be free from the, you know number 13 can also be seen as an unlucky number so maybe you feel like you're stuck in some unlucky situation here uh yeah 
And somehow this is gonna help you. Somehow this is gonna help you. Whoever you worship, whoever you love, whoever you like here, whoever guide that is with you here, or force, divine force is gonna help you because I feel life is easier for you. I like how this turned. And kind of in this energy, yeah, that's when you release and kind of maybe here you're becoming a new person, growing into becoming a new person. And with that changing yourself. So maybe there was something confining you to, you have to look a certain way, you have to dress a certain way, you have to please maybe other people or something like that. And now you are breaking free from that in a very strong way, you know, with the death here. We have communicate, wow. Yeah, so there is definitely something with the communication here. Communicate. Things left unsaid will never reach the shore. Communication is also, you know, getting that information, getting insights, getting clarity in your mind about how to act in this situation. How to, yeah, how to act in this situation. Hmm. Hmm. I feel a big, big change coming to something that you felt might not, like I said, the narrow path, I said many times now, that you maybe you didn't have so many options here. You're, you're getting a new way of seeing this, and that is freeing you from this. You're getting a lot of help. I mean, they are loving you. I don't know who your guides or deities are, who you are worshipping or loving, or your spirit guides loves you. I mean, I just feel this so strongly. They love you. I mean, you have nothing to worry about. They hear, I want to cry now. They hear every little thing that you're saying to them, they're saying. They see you in every moment. They're with you in every moment. Every time you talk to them, they hear every word. They are with you every time you do something for them. You know, if you want, you're giving them, uh, you know, offerings or... Um, oh, I, what is it called? Poon, poon, not puna. I don't remember the word now in... in, in in uh, um, English, uh, the thing that you do. <laughs> uh, oh, let's just leave that. So yeah, they see, they see what you do. Actually, you know what? I dance for my guides sometimes here at home. I do a spiritual dance for them, and it's so nice to connect with them, dancing for them. You know, love. It's love. You're giving love to our guides. It's so nice, actually. If you haven't done this, do that. I would really recommend it. Give God. Uh, love to your guides, dance for them, sing for them, uh, honor them. Not because they need it, they don't need anything, just because it's nice to give love. I mean, they give you love, you give them love. It's just nice, it's just love, you know? <laughs> you can never give too much love. You can never get too much love either. So yeah, you're about to get love, I think, here. And your guides loves you so much, pile number three. I mean, they are really here, they're like, they are in the room here. Like they really, really, really want you to know this. Yeah. So let's continue here. So four of swords. Yeah. Something is really coming to an end. You know, four of swords. Peace. And, and the four of swords also, you know, it's a death here. So there's a raven that died here. <laughs> and that shows the transformation, you know. So there was something that wasn't moving. Something wasn't changing. And that kind of reached the end in a miraculous way. People, they helped you. They're, they're, I said people, so maybe somebody else. Maybe the guides in the universe is sending you somebody else to help you to get out of this in a good way. To end this, to get out of this, to release this, to free yourself from this. But the Four of Swords is actually a very peaceful card. So it, it shows rest. So you are releasing this, you're finding rest. And like I said, it doesn't feel like chaotic here with the energy. So I think whatever is gonna solve for you, it's gonna solve in the most beautiful way, in the most calm way. Like if you were expecting conflict and drama, no, it's not gonna happen, it feels here. Uh, it kind of, you are so divinely guided and protected right now. So it's just, it's just have to go your way. Peace of mind is coming to you, peace in your life and a good rest. And King of Swords. And another Saturn here. See that? <laughs> the planet Saturn. So, wow, Saturn two times. I even, this is actually the only. Uh, no, I haven't seen them actually in this deck that they have the planets here, the symbol of the planets. So, King of Swords, clarity. King of Swords also shows the breakthrough. And oh, let's continue, I think, to see the rest of the cards. You have seven of wands. Yeah, look at this. You have seven of wands is having to protect yourself from something. 
having to protect yourself from something or try to find security from yourself or actually yeah having to protect yourself from something standing up for something i feel some of you has like a mean step not stepmother was it called you know when you're married the, your husband husband's mother i just heard that in this could be my indian crowd here like somebody has a mean step step stepmother no was it called not stepmother like i said your husband or your wife's um your husband or your wife's mother or something like that it's, it could be somebody in your could be somebody in your life making your life hard somehow could be a, for, for could be a job and your some your boss or a colleague there is making your heart, life hard and this is definitely karmic situation because we have two saturn here you have to stand up for yourself here with the seven of wands you're releasing this this is the good news here you are releasing this you're getting so much help oh my god you have eight of swords here so yeah uh, this this conflict or this person could even make you ill ill of worry and anxious and sick maybe even and hmm could be somebody that is supposed to take care of you that's supposed to be nice to you but it is, that is not nice because this person is not a nice person it's a toxic person like your boss is supposed to be nice to its employers but this this person is not it could even be that this person is showing themselves to be nice outwardly like yeah yeah i'm so nice but like they're not so yeah toxic person maybe even highly toxic person is just just toxic uh eight of swords yeah giving you a lot of headache here and we have eight of swords again wow <laughs> and my stomach really hurts now so yeah this person could make your stomach hurt or the situation can make your stomach hurt and for some of you maybe you're getting in the eye here again could be somebody else also you know being married being stuck in a marriage maybe that you actually not happy in or being stuck you know you married the person and then you got the family and the family is actually not so nice and you know it's like you can't say what you think you cannot dress like the way you want you, you're not allowed to do anything maybe or or your boss here maybe is controlling you what can this be pile number three i'm curious now because I, th I think this is going to differ from from all of you but what happens here is kind of you're you are finding courage with the king of swords you're 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 getting help yeah so back to the ten commandments you're getting help you're getting very clear guidance on how to solve this either you know you're getting insights or there's going to be another person entering into your life and helping you get out of this narrow path in in a very good way and i just feel like we have to do three more cards because this was such an interesting readings so i want to see how it's gonna go for you um but it feels like you're gonna communicate you're gonna stand up for yourself you're gonna somehow get help to better the situation or, or fully release the situation and with that freeing yourself feeling free feel yeah feeling free maybe you're even gonna quit your job or if this was a boss you have goodbye boss is getting the boss is getting fired or something hmm. what a tricky energy here so interesting but it's a positive energy so everything is good i mean you're getting out of this <coughs> you're getting out of this but let's do three more tarot cards oh <coughs> so i just saw this deck and yeah it's kind of you know uh yeah this could be work related for some of you this feels like something like work related just the background here of the cards so pile three let's see here can we get some more information maybe is there anything more spirits wants to tell pile number three about this situation oh yeah hmm. let's do that one Okay, let's see here. Ooh. So you have strength. Yeah, wow. I mean, yeah, you're, you're finding strength. You're getting strength. Your, your guides are giving you strength. I mean, they are, they are with you here. Now look at this poor lion here has hurt its paw. So this is definitely something that's been hurting you. This coming to an end. A painful situation is coming to an end. And look at this infinity symbol here. Also feels like the karma is balancing. 
this karma and I, for some of you I really feel like you have an awful person in your life <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing but it's like kind of funny how awful awful this person is you know all all people have all people have goodness in them all people are good in their energy uh, I mean good good in their essence but you know this is somebody that is very unconscious very toxic and it's like really polluting the environment i feel like yeah polluting the environment and if you are somehow this person is somehow uh uh karmically connecting connected with you so you're kind of polluting you maybe as well maybe it's your whole workplace or you know your whole family maybe you know something you have to protect yourself and you're really releasing this, I mean, like with a lot of strength. I just love, I just feel your guides. And this is like just such a loving energy. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about not being loved or, or I mean, letting go for your family. If you need to do that, you have, I mean, your guides are just like, wow. So Eight of Cups, yeah, wow. Eight of Cups is walking away. Eight of Cups is walking away. And it's it's a, it could be bittersweet even walking away from this because uh, there is something also... You know, yeah, if it's your family, you know, or somebody that you love or, you know, there's memories and, you know, it's hard when it comes to family members. You know, we want to be loved. We want to have good relations with our family. Nobody wants to have bad relations with our family. It's family. It's crazy. Of course, everybody wants to have good relations, even with your boss and your colleagues and your friends. We want to have good relations, of course. So it can be a bit bittersweet to let this go, but it's going to be for your own good. And King of Swords again, wow. So pile number three, you're going to come to a point in your life sooner than later where you're going to feel very clear in your mind uh, and you're going to take a very strong decision for yourself and you're going to you, you're gonna get yeah very strong guidance and direction and you're going to take a very strong decision for yourself. You're going to find the courage and the strength to follow this decision through. And this is going to change your whole life. This is what you're, you are freeing yourself from this. And it's going to be so good for you. And with that, jumping back to the beginning of the reading, you are going to outgrow that old you. Look at you taking your costume off. If, if you're, it could be your job, you know. Uh, you're taking, maybe you have a job outfit, you know, <laughs> so you're taking off that job out, outfit, could that, that could signify that, or, you know, maybe your family wanted you to dress in a certain way, or you couldn't express yourself, or maybe you had a partner that wanted you to dress in a certain way, or just, maybe you're just outgrowing, growing, you're outgrowing the old you, because of, because of this thing was a big thing, I think, that you're letting go of, it seems to have a, Big, it, this had a big impact on your life. It was a big karma of yours. So you're not just doing this, you're also releasing this karma, balancing it out and freeing yourself forever. Beautiful reading, pile number three. Very beautiful reading. See, I, I love this reading. So yeah, anyways, yeah, this was the end of your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story in the commentary section, please feel free to do so. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile three.